everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. This is gonna be another vlog. This is gonna be a week in my life vlog, starting today on Monday. I do hope you're keeping well and you're having a smoother Monday than what I'm having. Now, I'm not saying this is anything to do with the students that I saw the other day, because I'm sure they know what they're doing. <laughs> but last week I had my routine hygienist appointment at the dentist and they did my hygiene spent about 40 minutes on the weekend I started getting some pain on the left hand side of my mouth just like here where the wisdom teeth are it's got progressively worse and last night well no this morning at around about 5 a.m. I woke up in quite a bit of pain so I rang up the dentist this morning that managed to fit me in so I am hoping that I do not have a wisdom tooth on the left hand side that has decided it wants to cause me a bit of aggro because I'm not about that. I'm not about getting your wisdom teeth removed. Just around the corner from the dentist so I'll chat to you guys when I get out. Wish me luck. I'm back. I got a prescription for some antibiotics and been given this to clean my wisdom tooth area with all the gums for the next week or so. Anyway, for now, that's the last I will go on about my teeth. I'll keep you posted though. Hopefully it clears up because it's bloody painful. Not too exciting today, but tomorrow is exciting because I'm off to London for a very good friend's wedding, which I'm super excited for and I'm super excited to see a few other people that are going to be there because I've not seen them in a long time. So, touch base with you later. Sit. Good boy, there you go. That was all going pretty well until the bit where I had to put the tortilla wrap in the pan with all the like a beanie thing recipe on top of it. It just absolutely disintegrated. And a while later, Milo came down. I don't normally put goat's cheese in scrambled eggs, but I thought I've got some goat's cheese and I'd give it a go. Had a taste test out there and it tasted really good. So my suggestion of the day, if you like goat's cheese, you like scrambled egg, put a bit of goat's cheese in the scrambled egg and you'll be happy. Walking. You were walking. You were walking. You were walking. Hey guys, let's do a very quick outfit check. Got the tie from Next the other day. This is a light blue Ben Sherman shirt. Blazer is River Island. Trousers are from a brand in Australia called Tarakash. And I've got my looks on. Do I need a jacket? Mm, it could be chilly later. There was one jacket I was thinking, which is the jacket I got in Edinburgh last year for New Year's Eve. I didn't buy it for New Year's Eve. I bought it when we were, me and Harry were up there for New Year's Eve from Walk us later. What do we think? Yeah, I'm gonna wear it. There we go. Right, 
That'll do. Transport police on 61016. Stratford. Morning all. How are we? Hope you're good. Morning Hector. <laughs> he won't come up and see me and I don't understand why. Hector! Look, he's just looking the other way each time I say to him Hector. Hector! What's this? Hector! Hector! Hector, come in. Hector, please look at me. Good morning. Ah, morning baby. Good morning. <laughs> you okay? Oh, come see me. <sighs> Guys, it hurts. It really hurts a lot. Well, I've taken a painkiller. I took a painkiller about an hour and a half ago, which has now kicked in. <sighs> it's no better. If anything, I would say it's worse. And really, first thing in the morning, it's awful. The wedding was wonderful. It was... Yeah. yeah. How special is that? Getting to see a good friend. So happy and looking dapper with their partner on their big day. Yeah, it was a wonderful day and it was great to see and catch up with some other people who I've not seen in quite some time. Quick one. Oh my gosh, I've got 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Me and Hayley are trying to get ELO tickets. Ah, what have I got to do now? They announced a couple of days ago that they are doing one final show, which is going to be at BST in Hyde Park next year. Oh, I'm in the queue. That's not too bad, is it? 2538. To be honest, I didn't think there'd be quite as much demand for this as the likes of Oasis. Oh, yeah, I I'm fairly optimistic. She's done it. We're in. We're in the gold circle to go and see ELO next year. Do you know ELO? Mr. Blue Sky, you'd have heard that song. Great song. I feel like it's a little bit overplayed, so it's not, it's not one of my favorites. Do you want a walkie? Do you want a walkie? You do! Come on then! Come on then! Come on then! I don't think I've worn this coat before in a vlog. Have I? I don't think I have. This is one of my favourite coats. I bought it last year. In Was it last year? I think it was last year. In Abercrombie & Fitch in London. It is so warm and cosy. It's just... All the padding and material is just like puffy, especially like when you pop the hood up. I don't need to pop the hood up today, but it is such a warm jacket. I love wearing it. Got him. Honestly, like, I feel really tired when I get up because when I first get up, I'm in a lot of pain. I take the, um, hold on Hector, hold on. I take the painkiller, let that kick in, then I fall asleep. And then I think it could be the codeine. I think the, the codeine just makes you feel a bit drowsy and like you don't want to do much. Sunsets this time of year, October in particular, something about them, it's just oh, it's so, so vocal. Just give me a second Hector. It's just like I love, honestly, like this time I just said, it's such a vibe, sunsetting. Go for a little dog walk. Why is it that all of that misty stuff, that fog, is there, but there's nowhere else on the field where it is? Can someone explain that to me? Maybe the Romans that used to walk on this site are coming back or something. <laughs> or maybe it's actually 
The Undertaker. Do you remember The Undertaker from WWE? Anybody else watch WWE back in the day? Good boy. I'm feeling sorry for myself because it's hurting. Can't be bothered to cook, so I've ordered a Domino's. I remember the good old days when... Why is it doing that? Um, I remember the good old days when Domino's delivery was free and when you didn't have to spend £17 to get delivery. It's a modern day tragedy. Morning. How are we? Good. Me? I'm alright. I'm not really going about my tooth too much. <laughs> but same old. Still hurts. Just took another painkiller. Oh, you let me go? That's very kind of you. Thank you. My car has this incredibly useful feature with the app. I think a lot of cars do it nowadays. There's probably nothing special about my car doing it, but I'll tell you about it. Before you get in the car, you can turn the aircon or the heating on via the app. So this time of year when you get in your car and there's tons of condensation on the windows or say when it's really cold and the um, you need to put the de-icer on your car, you can get the heating going before you get in the car. So that by the time you get in the car, all the window screens are clear and you can drive straight away and the car's nice and warm. You can also turn the heated steering wheel on before you get in the car, which is lovely, but you can't turn the heated seating on. Welcome to this service for London Liverpool Street. That is a wrap. This coat was incredibly unnecessary today because it's actually a beautiful day, which is good. Just walking past all these houses, I'd hate to think how much they are worth. Can you imagine, like, just coming home to one of these? It'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Um, shoot went very well. It is. About one o'clock now, so I'm gonna to aim to get the quarter to two train. Honestly, this area is beautiful, look at this. One of those neighborhoods where you wanna knock on their door and say, what do you do for work? Or perhaps it'd be more appropriate to say, what did you do for work? Service to Norwich, versus stop will be transferred. Due to arrive by 1427. Oh, as quick as that, I'm back in my car. I was going to get some lunch in London, but I thought I've got some bits and bobs at home that I need to use up, so I thought I'd wait till I get home. But then when I was boarding the train at Liverpool Street, I remembered that I actually have half a Domino's pizza left from last night with stuffed crust. Like, does it get any better? So when I get home, that is going to be my lunch, which I cannot wait to eat because I'm absolutely starving. So months ago, I saw a little video on TikTok, which was a hack for reheating your pizza. And basically all it was, was instead of putting it straight in the microwave, you should put 
a little bit of water on top of the pizza and it stops it drying out like it normally does when you put it in the microwave. I wonder what you're after. I wonder what you're after. You can smell the cheese on the pizza, can't you? Hmm? Guys, can you see that? It's currently 6.06, I had a nap, and I've woken up and I look like a chipmunk on this side of my mouth. If they don't get me an appointment tomorrow morning when I ring up, I will cry. Like, I, 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 need, I cannot wait for the morning to arrive. I'm just getting so much worse. 7.59 at the moment. Literally gonna hit their number as soon as the second hits 8 a.m. Thank you for calling Coulter's branch. We are experiencing high call volumes between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. appointments before after 10 a.m. Please be advised that all calls. Hi, morning. I came in this Monday for an emergency appointment. It was to do with one of my back wisdom teeth. Oh, this is my French. Sorry. Where the hell did they come from? It's just a bit. We're on the way to the dentist again. She said, what pain is it? I said 10. She, she said, surely it's not actually 10. Did, did she? Huh? She said, well, actually, yes, it is. I'm joking. I'm just oh. joking. Sorry. <laughs> No, she was quite sympathetic. To be fair, both the receptionists I spoke to about this, they've been very nice. What did he say? Was he nice? I'm out, by the way. He was so nice. He is the one, that guy I just saw. He's the one who got me referred last time to get it taken out. Oh. So he don't muck about. I've been given more antibiotics to take. Different sort or same? These are different, these ones. Diphenic. No, that's different. So amoxicillin I've been given. Crap. Crap according to most cheapest antibiotics you could buy. Yeah. Brilliant. And he's given me a prescription painkiller to help with the pain. Because I said to him, I'm quite concerned that I've been taking codeine for the past five days, three well, four and a bit days now, three times a day. You're not supposed to, are you? That can't be good for your body. So he's given me that and he's said it needs to come out. So he's referred me, so hopefully I should hear back. Apparently I'll get a call. Maybe the same place you went last time? Dunno. Did you tell me how friendly that man was last time? <laughs> no. no, I didn't, because just kind of needs to come out. Can't be picky, can I? No, or not. Mm. See the blood? Mm. It's bleeding now. Painful. The reception. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, um, she's all right. Yeah, no, she's all she, right. She, yeah. She's the one who got me in on Monday. Yeah. For like, I know all the staff now. I know all the receptionists. <laughs> I know all, all the dentists. I can tell you which ones to go and see. Anyway, change of topic. We are now going to head to town. I need to pop into a shop. And mum wants to try out this very nice Vietnamese coffee shop. Vietnamese, Viet, Vietnamese coffee shop in town. We might go to Boots while we're here as well. And we might go to Boots. And we might go to Bill and Burt's. That's where I'm going. Oh, you're going to Bill going and Burt's? Going to Bill and Burt's, going to Bill and Burt's, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to go Bill and And you want to go to Marks and Spencer's, don't you? Well, I need to pick something up, yeah. So we've got Marks and Spencer's, Bill and Burt's. That's the way home. Vietnamese coffee shop, and where else? Nowhere. Nowhere else. Right. I want to go to Boots, because you could get your prescription there. Yeah. And I need to get... Yeah. Right, let's go. Well, no, no. It smells nice and clean, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you tried the white velvet? Thank you very much. Thank you. That looks nice. 
What have you got? It's a matcha ice latte. I saw it. Oh, if you send that I won't point the camera there but literally to the left of my car right next there is a couple and they have been making out since I went into the card factory they've been doing that for about three minutes yeah they've been they've been, they've, they've been there they're hugging they're they're going mad they look like they're on they might not be on anything but they look like they're not quite with it but they're leaning against I assume their car or somebody else's car and they are absolutely going mad at each other in this car park quite peculiar to see we need to quickly talk about Ella's cafe on is it Eld Lane? Eld Lane Eld Lane Colchester Town Centre I think it's the best coffee shop in the town it is a a Vietnamese coffee shop and street food let me just show you that again it's just what makes it for me if I go anywhere and obviously the coffee's good and the food's good, that's great. But when the staff are as friendly very as they friendly. are... Very, very friendly. I reckon she was the owner. Do you think she I was think the owner? I think she was, yeah. I think she was the owner. She was lovely. Very, very pleasant lady. Very pleasant. She was there the other day when me and Becca went there. She was there today, honestly. So like, and, and not just her, all the staff. And then the people um, at the till, super lovely. All the waiters, waitresses. Great bunch. So a recommendation for you. Go to Ella's Cafe on Eld Lane. Eldlane, yeah, Eldlane and Colchester, opposite... Opposite Bill and Burt's, nearly. Opposite Bill and Burt's, nearly. I bought the five spice tofu and oh, rice. they stopped. I didn't, they stopped. <laughs> oh, is there a car? Yeah, is there a car? Literally right next to us. God. Um, I bought the five spice tofu vegetarian baguettes, which is a baguette with homemade mayonnaise, carrot, white radish pickle, cucumber, coriander and homemade sauce. You can have three different levels of spice, mild, medium or hot. I went for the mild just because of that and I also had a matcha ice latte. Some places don't do a good matcha ice latte I've found but there they do a fantastic matcha ice latte so if you like matcha go there. You had the honey chicken honey chicken with lemongrass That's served one. with homemade mayonnaise, carrot and white radish pickle, cucumber, coriander, coriander homemade sauce in a baguette once again and you had the pumpkin latte. Pumpkin latte. Which I had a taste test. Have you had the one from Starbucks? No, I haven't. She's not had the one from Starbucks. Try the one from Starbucks and then compare because she actually asked us if your one in particular tasted good, to which you obviously said yes. And I said yes as well because I tried a little bit. And it was so much nicer. I mean, I think the Starbucks one is nice anyway, but it was so much nicer than the one from Starbucks. So a little recommendation if you want a... We were saying this the other day, me and Stuart, is it autumnal or... Autumnal, yeah. Autumnal. If you fancy an autumnal drink... Pumpkin spice latte from Ella's Cafe. And they also asked me, didn't they, if I'd like a lot of cinnamon or not too much. Ah, yeah. So you're not too keen on cinnamon, are you? I'm not too you? keen on cinnamon. You like so they just cinnamon. gave me a little bit, which is nice. There we go. This is what Mum bought. Do you want to show everyone? That's good. Cool, thanks. What did you get? It was the it's an oil for my burner. Moroccan spice. I didn't smell that one. Did they have any tests? I thought there was no yeah, testers they, for this one. They were. Yeah, they did. Was it? Can I do it? What should I spill then? Mmm, crikey. Strong. That is strong. Let's hope so. That smells really nice. Smell that. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Ah, going back to Ella's Cafe. I was too full from the baguette, so I didn't eat it there. But I bought it to have with a cup of tea at some point. This was the... Um, Earl Grey. They're off again. I wish I could get shot. <laughs> they, they, that's oh mad, isn't it? Oh, God. Absolutely. You can't be married. You say that, that's what you and Dad do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really. Look at that. That's a, a, a very generous size piece of cake. Just trying to compare, just so you get an idea on the size. This is Earl Grey, so I'm going to have that at some point with a cup of tea, I think. Quite excited to try that. You said that? Your tail sounds like a train. It sounds like a little train. Here it does. <laughs> what was that? It is. It's five past five. Oh, me and Hector have come to the train station to pick Harry up because he is back for the weekend. Who's that? 
Baby, how are you? Oh, hello. Come on, come on. Oh, I see you're up. Nice to see you. Yeah. It's been a long time. Oh, that's been a long time. Long, long time. Harry's back. Hello again, everyone. I'm back. When did I last sight? Uh, everyone last... was worried. Everyone was worried. Everyone's panicking. Everyone was like, honestly, the Reddit pages were all spiraling out of control. There were actually a lot of. Um, the word I'm looking for conspiracies as to where yeah, you were. There were absolutely. But um, no, alas, I have returned. It's back. good to see everyone. Lovely to see this one. How are you? Don't you look smart? Thank you very much. Well, I'll come sit next to you. Come sit next to me, Harry. Let's have a little go. Taste test. There we go. This is the famous cake that Aaron has bought. Mmm. It's nice. It tastes like Earl Grey, which it would because it's an Earl Grey cake. But I've never had a cake that tastes like Earl Grey. That is my point. Oh my God. Have you? Have you? No. Exactly. Have you? I don't think it's a very common type of cake to have. It, it does taste, taste like a cup of tea. Tastes like a cup of tea. It does taste you, like you a cup of tea. You took the words from my mouth. There you go. It's not like we've filmed this before, is it? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's my first time trying the cake. Very close to the camera here. Mmm. Nice, isn't it? Mmm. Very nice. So, tastes like a cup of tea. Does taste like a cup of tea. It's nice. And they gave oh, me yours, they gave me quite a gen oh see this bit's moist. Okay. I wonder maybe there's L grey in the middle bit. No, it's not gonna focus. Um yeah, this middle bit here is quite moist. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. Oh, good, nice. Ella's Cafe. Yeah, nice. Not just great coffee, but great cakes too. Yeah. Ella's Cafe, well done. Mm. I don't think you're going to appear much more in this bit of the vlog, Harry. So, so if you want to, if you want to, this is your moment, really, in all the oh, twenty-five no. minutes or whatever it is. Um, I'm home for one night. No, I'm not. I'm home for the weekend, Friday to Sunday, two nights. Um, but Aaron is going to see the famous Fleetwood back with Hayley tomorrow night for his birthday. Very that exciting. Very kind present from Hayley to Aaron for his birthday. It's not my birthday now, it was a birthday present from January when it was my birthday. So, and and it's my dad's birthday dinner tomorrow night, so we are going in separate directions tomorrow. So, we talk, we've got a flying one night visit, and I'll see Aaron in four weeks' time. <laughs> in Wales, when I go to Wales. That'll be... The vlog in four weeks from now, you'll yep. see me again. There we go. So, yep. hey. but I hope you're all well, and um, see you very soon. Prices start from thirty-three thousand two hundred and five pounds. Afternoon, everybody. How are you? Hope you're good. It is now Saturday. Is Saturday? Yes, it is. It's now Saturday afternoon. It is about three p.m. I've just got home from Harry's. Had a lovely time at Harry's. Nice to see him and his parents briefly. And I've just come home and I'm now getting ready to go to Bury St Edmunds this evening for a concert. I'm running late, which is on par with the rest of my life because I'm never on time. Um, we're staying at a Premier Inn tonight in the town centre. Go for dinner and then head to, is it the Apex? It might not be the Apex. I think where we're seeing them is called the Apex. I could have got that wrong. For some reason, I'm thinking it's the Apex. I don't even know if the Apex exists. I've read Apex somewhere and I think it's where I'm going tonight. Then after that, we'll go for a few beverages after, I'm sure, because I reckon we'll be in the mood for a few more following listening to some Fleetwood Mac for the evening, which I can't wait. Was supposed to be in the car by now, but you know how I roll. If you've watched any of these vlogs before, you will know that I'm not usually on time. So I don't normally do this with my eyebrows, but this is something I've... <laughs> the brush. Need the brush. Where's the brush? Why is that not working? Is that the brush? That's the pencil end. There's the brush. Um, I don't actually normally do this with my eyebrows. I've only started doing this recently. But as you can see, that part of my eyebrow on this side, as well as this side, both my eyebrows, aren't the thickest. So a little bit of pencil. I'm absolutely not an expert at this. Do you know what? I'm risking it doing it in the camera. I'm going to look in the mirror. Two seconds. Um, it does actually create, I think, a nice 
difference in my face when I apply this. Two seconds and you will see. Do you know, I got my eyebrows waxed about a week ago. I don't even think it's been a week and already they're growing back with a vengeance, which is really frustrating because I literally just got it done. But that's okay. Far worse things going on in the world than your eyebrows, Aaron. I used to use, um, what did I used to use? <coughs> I hate breathing in this stuff because obviously it makes your hair do what it does. Like stick together and add a bit of volume. <coughs> Hold on. And I can only imagine that when you breathe that in, for some reason I've just got it in my head that if you breathe any of this powder stuff in, it might like make your lungs all get sticky and congeal. Congeal, I don't know if that's the right, the right word I was looking for. I hate breathing it in, and I just did. I would normally shave, especially if I'm going out in the evening, but I'm not gonna go on about it, but you know what's going on around there inside my mouth at the moment, and it hurts to apply too much pressure on my cheek, so I'm not going to, so you just have to excuse the stubble, which don't look great. Um, and just a, a little bit of concealer, just to help with the old acne scarring, not too much. That'll do, I think that'll do, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, uh, and then. Uh, I was gonna pop some Abercrombie on, but shout out to this. I need to use that up because I've had it for probably four years now, I reckon. This is called Segno for Men by Avon. It is one of the nicest aftershaves I've ever smelt. Wasn't very expensive, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's an Avon owned brand. Really like it. Um, oh, I don't know what you'd wear, I don't know what jacket would go with this outfit. Um, is that olive? What would you call that? A, well, maybe it goes, I don't know. Does that go? I need a second opinion for stuff like this. I do like this jacket, but the collar, I'm not too keen on wearing collars on collars. I'm not sure about this. Oh, no, I think it goes, but I don't know if it goes with the trousers. Does it go with the trousers? Oh, I don't know, I need to hurry up, I'm running late. No, I'm not feeling that. Um... No. Uh... Do you know what? I think I'm just going to wear my trusty Tommy Hilfiger jacket, which is actually one of my favourite jackets I own. Yeah, do you know what? I think that goes. That that will do. And then I will wear my... I'll wear the Lokes. I'll wear the dark tan Lokes. Right, I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm good to go. Oh my goodness. I would say my... It's very autumnal at the moment. I was thinking as I was driving in, or the colour of the trees. It, but isn't it, because I always think autumn's a bit of a miserable time of year, right? In terms of the sea, that grey skies. But what a contrast you get. Do you not agree? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at the sun. The, the, uh... the sign is literally. No, I actually meant to say the sun. Nice oh, little, the sun. nice little sunset. I think we're missing it. Mm. Is it? Clocks are changing. Clocks, clocks. Is it tonight? Tonight. So for the first time in six months, my car clock will be correct. <laughs> Happy days. I've waited six months for this. Yeah, you do. Sorry. So excited. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was the sun or not hitting those leaves. It's beautiful. Yeah. Right, well, you'd have thought it would be here. Four. So we've got, two. we've got three, two, three, five. Let's have a look. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Garden is that? <laughs> Who's garden is that? <laughs> oh, I like it, Hayley. Oh. I think it's quite a nice smell. I'm not sure. 
I'll take the little baby bed because you're too. Fat. You sure? Yeah, I'm a good okay. Plus, I can get out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my escape route all day. But Susie, whose garden is that? <laughs> oh, I think, oh, I think it's Premier's garden. Oh, so okay. you've got a nice garden view. What's the. Oh, what's the... Got a bath. There we go. Oh, lovely. A bit LVT. Very nice. Excited for this evening? Born excited. I'm caught. I'm cautiously optimistic. You've seen them before. No, I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll get to hear Sarah alive. Not a chance. You're there. I want, I want the little house next to the graveyard. I love that. Do you know what? It's given me Cotswolds vibes a little bit. This area here, especially with those houses in the corner. See a little bit of yellow stone. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that lovely? Really nice. That is so lovely, that is. The chain. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> if I was inclined, you could do that in one bite. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Have a good day, all right? Cheers. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good day, all right? Well, I listen to myself. I think that probably sounds a little bit intense. Have a good day, all right? Oh, it's very warm. It's a beautiful day today. It's 12 degrees. Blue skies. It's lovely. Oh. Beautiful autumnal. I, I, I don't know what I, I can never say the word. I, I don't pronounce it correct. But it was a beautiful autumn day in Barista Edmonds. I've just come to Starbucks to have a bit of breakfast very quickly. I went for a pumpkin cream iced oat shaken blondie espresso. I don't know what milk they've put in it. It says oat on there, but I'm sure he said they've run out of oat milk. I said I'm not really worried what you've put in it, whatever's best. So that's the beverage that I went for. And then I went for a Beyond Meat sandwich. I don't want to sound tight, but I can't believe how expensive it is. Like six pounds, I think, for this Beyond Meat sandwich, and the the actual meat equivalent was about four pounds something. I don't understand how they charge so much more for vegan or vegetarian products. I guess maybe there's less demand for it, or perhaps it costs more to produce, which is why they have to make it more expensive. But yeah, six pounds, six six pounds for that. I love a crusty roll. 
This is a proper crusty roll. I wish, I can't do this, but because obviously they're pre-made, I wish they could put normal cheese in the sandwich because it would just taste better. I, I eat normal cheese, I don't eat vegan cheese. If you've not had one before, it's basically like a sausage patty with tomato sauce and vegan cheese in a roll. It's really good. The other day when me, Stuart and Noah did the McBang at Starbucks, we had one of these and it tasted, it was nice then as well, but it was a little bit too sweet for me. Whereas today, it's not as sweet as it was the other day. It's the perfect level of sweetness. I'm going to give that 10 out of 10. Last night, fantastic night. Barry St. Edmunds. I actually understand now why that premiere, premiere in, was quite pricey because Barry St. Edmunds, the town centre, I don't know like the wider area of Barry. I need to have a look because I feel like this could be a contender for somewhere to live in years to come perhaps. I need to explore it properly. But the town centre itself is beautiful. Before we went to the Apex, we went for dinner in, what was it called? Uh, Mowgli, Mowgli Street Food, which is Indian food. It was so nice. In the inside, they've got like swinging chairs where you can sit down. So we were sat on normal, like static chairs, but they've got these benches with ropes which you can sit on when you're having your dinner, which looks pretty cool. I don't know if I trust myself to be able to not keep swaying backwards and forth while having my dinner. I'll probably spill my dinner over me. So I was quite happy sat where we were sat. But the inside, it's done really beautifully. So Mowgli's recommendation from me. The concert itself, Fleetwood Back, absolutely fantastic. They played pretty much every single hit, all but one. They didn't play Sarah. I, I don't get it. I genuinely don't understand why they don't do it. It is, in my view, the best Fleetwood Mac song, the best Stevie Nicks song. I don't understand why they don't sing it. It's like, there's not one bad Fleetwood Mac song out there. Like Every single song is heaven, in my view. But there's a couple of songs they sung, and um, one of them was called Oh Well, which is by mainly Lindsay Buckingham. And it's just ama ama he's amazing talent, especially on the guitar. It's very guitar heavy, this song. And it's just not one of their well-known songs. And I just, whilst it's amazing to hear, you can't play that and not play Sarah. Let's get rid of that and play Sarah. And I'd even say, I'd be quite happy if you, you, you can ditch Don't Stop and Go Your Own Way. They finished on that, I thought they would. I mean, great songs, but I'd be quite happy you can get rid of them if you want. Just, just give me Sarah. Like, I don't, don't understand it. But anyway, it was a fantastic night. They're really good. If you like Fleetwood Mac, go and see Fleetwood Mac. Maybe, if you want the full effect, maybe don't stand as close as we stood, because <laughs> I wouldn't say they look like them. It's quite funny. They all wear wigs. I think the wigs are a little bit unnecessary. Personally, it makes it kind of, bits of it quite funny but maybe that's survived the going for because there were bits where I genuinely found quite funny which I don't think you were supposed to find funny and uh, the whole Stevie they I don't I'm assuming they're not American all of them um, but there's American accents which I think are being put on I think they're English and there's a whole Stevie and Lindsay you can see that they're, they're trying to replicate the the chemistry and the beef that Stevie and Lindsay used to have back in the day and I think they still to a degree do still have especially during Silver Springs when they performed that. But yeah, absolutely fantastic night and really good to see Hayley. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to round off this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed watching this week in my life. Thank you so much. If you've stuck around till the end, you're an absolute gem and I appreciate it so much. That is incredibly kind of you. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Thanks, guys.